Hey guys, welcome to the new video. In this video here, we're going to explore the new GPT-4 vision model. We're going to set up this pretty cool project here where we're going to have our webcam GPT. So this is basically just a project where we're going to have a live webcam stream in a great Joe app. Then we can chat with the webcam stream. We can tell it like explain what is in this image, what is the optic besides the other object here, where is it located in a frame and so on. We're going to see how we can set it up. This can definitely be used in so many cool applications and projects. Definitely throw down in the comments if you have some cool ideas. We could either test out here on the channel or if you have already done something yourself. So we're going to just jump straight into the GitHub repository for webcam GPT from Roboflow. We're basically just going to clone this one here. I've already done it. We can see a preview over what this chatbot is doing with the live stream from your webcam. We're going to see the exact same results running it on our local machine. So first of all, we just need to pip install webcam GPT. We need to export or set our OpenAI key. If you're on Windows, you have to set it. And if you're on Mac or Linux, you have to export your OpenAI key. You can just press here and you will be directed to OpenAI's website where you can copy paste your API key. Then we can basically just run it with a single line Python. And then we go inside of our examples and then we run our webcam Python script. So that's everything we have to do. And then we have this up and running with a great Joe app. So let's now just jump straight into the code and see how we can set up this webcam GPT demo. So first of all here, we just need to import the different modules. We only need Great Joe's, OpenCV, NumPy, and Webcam GPT. So those can be pip installed. Then we have these different functionalities. First of all, we can set up our OpenAI connector. Let's just go inside that to start with. So this is just a simple class. We set up our API key. You can set it up as in the GitHub repository. We have a single method here, which is a simple prompt. We throw in an image and also the prompt that we want to send to the API from OpenAI. We just have the headers. We can pose a payload if we go inside that function. This is basically just the format that we need to, to throw in as a request to the OpenAI API for the GPT-4 vision model. First of all, we need to encode our image to base64. We throw in a NumPy array image. It then encodes the image as JPEG here and then returns it as base64. Then we can throw in a prompt or and also our image to the API. We will also specify the maximum number of tokens. And then again, it's just going to return the response from the API call. So this is all it's going to do. We're going to throw in a post request to this URL. We specify the headers and the payload. And then the response, we're going to convert that to JSON to be able to access the prompt or like the answer that we get back from the OpenAI API will be like this. So we have response choices, message, and then we can extract the content. And this will be the response from our image and also the prompt or like the question that we threw into the API. So that's kind of like everything that we need. We also need to save our image to the drive. So we have a function to that basically just so we can visualize the whole chat history and also the images that we have already processed and thrown into the API. We have response method, which is going to handle all of it. We throw in our number array, the prompt that we want to act like throw into our API as well together with the chat history. We're going to do some image processing. We're going to connect to our connector, throw in the symbol prompt together with our image and the prompt. We get a response back, and then we're just going to like append that to our chat history. So we both will have our prompt response and also the image path. So we can show everything just as they have in OpenAI's chat GPT. Then we can go down and create our great Joe demo. We're going to have the first row here, we set up our webcam. So we're going to specify the sources equal to webcam. And we're going to have a streaming webcam because we're going to have like the streaming application with a live webcam, which we can ask questions or like throw in prompts to the OpenAI API. We set up our chatbot here directly with Gradio. This is how easy it is. We also have a text box so we can specify our prompt. We also have a clear button. And then again, if we want to send a message, we have to just submit. We call our response method, we throw in a webcam message and also our chatbot, and then the response will be our message and the chatbot. Then we can launch the demo directly, demo.launch, and we are up and running on localhost and can test out our demo. So before we're going to launch the demo, I'm just going to show you this cool new tool called Unriddle. You can basically use it to actually just speed up the process of both writing, but also reading research papers. So it takes a lot of time to go through research papers. Sometimes they're also like very complex to read. Here you can just upload the research papers, upload any document or text, and then you can actually like analyze it on a very high level. You can go in and ask it to summarize it, ask different questions. So you can also have notes on one side and research paper on the other side. The AI will read and understand the whole research papers. You can reference it. You can even go in and cite it directly if you're writing your own research papers on the sideline. So if you start typing 
after a couple of words you can actually just autofill based on the research papers that it has analyzed you can just hit plus plus and it will autofill the whole block you can have a simplify your notes explain your notes and even rephrase your notes so this is a really cool tool you will learn way faster by using unriddle so let's not just jump back to our gradio demo again let's just launch it and see some of the fun so i'm just going to copy paste the command from github directly so python inside examples and then we run our webcam.py script should be able to run it here and it will open up on local host there we go now we should be able to open it up we see that webcam is up and running here i'll just grab it here and then we can just point it at me i'm not sure like why it's jumping here it wasn't doing that on my macbook so we'll throw in a prompt here to the image so just describe what's in this image question mark we can hit enter and it will like like throw it into it let's just zoom in here so we can better see what's going on it'll probably just take a couple of seconds right now it's just sending the image and the prompt to openai's gpt model to describe what's in this image again we're storing the image so we can visualize it here in the chat history so this image shows a young man sitting in front of a microphone suggesting that he might be engaged in an activity such as streaming podcasting or recording audio he appears to be focused on something off camera so again you guys can see like this is on a very detail level you can even like see the ambient light so you can see how detailed it is he's wearing a dark green shirt and so on let's try to go in and see if we can act like detect something let me just scrap this one so this will be like a fanda try type in the prompt so i have to like multitask here so um what is this object or like what is this red object try, try to see if it actually like able to extract some text and the object type the red object looks like a can of Fanta, which is a brand of fruit flavor carbonated drinks. And here you can see that this act like appears to be strawberry. So that is actually like pretty cool. Like you can't even see that this that, that this is a strawberry. So that's pretty cool. So again, these two cans here are similar. Let's just try to like, um, what is besides the Fanta can to the right? So this will be like mirrored. So the right fan can, there's a Coca-Cola can, both cans standing on what appears to be a desk with a computer keyboard in the foreground. The image is somewhat blurry. So even though it's still blurry, it can still extract like pretty much all the information. Let's try to see if it, it can extract something from my phone. So what time is it? I'll hit enter. Let's try to see if it's able to extract it. Again, this is mirrored, so it will act like get the correct image up here. So again, the time displayed on the phone screen is 1.36. So that is also correct. So yeah, we're basically just going to have to chat history over here to the right. You can scroll through it all, ask it questions. You have this live stream here. Definitely try to spin it up yourself, test it out. It is so awesome to just play with, with a live webcam. You can even like have it describing yourself, retext and so on. So this is pretty cool. So thank you guys for watching this video here. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I hope you're going to create some pretty cool applications and projects around this new GPT-4 vision model with the API. So I hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy hunting.